Jerusalem's chief rabbi blames LGBT rights for earthquake aftershocks. During a weekly sermon, Jerusalem Sephardic chief rabbi Shlomo Amar said that the recent earthquake aftershocks in Israel were caused by the country's decision to give the LGBT community rights and freedoms. He made the shocking claims during a weekly sermon and even used a passage from the Talmud, the primary source of Jewish theology and religious law, to justify his comments, saying, quote, it's not me interpreting. It's the language of the Gemara, Amar said, quoting from the Jewish religious text as stated by the Jerusalem Post. Quote, God said you are shocking your people for something that is not yours. Israeli journalist and news anchor Ori uh, Koel, who himself is a gay man, stated, quote, in a democratic Western and progressive country, a person like you should not receive a salary from the taxpayer's money. Amar has also previously said that homosexuals could not be religious Jews, describing homosexuality as, quote, a wild lust that needs to be overcome, and even describing that, quote, Animals and beasts don't behave like that when referring to the Jerusalem Pride March. Well, they, they do, though. They, they do. They do. do yeah. So we, we do have homosexual. I mean, we don't look into the animal kingdom for our moral standards anyways. But that's, I mean, should I even reason with this idiot? Let me explain. <laughs> I like your, your, your attempt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very interesting. Like, when it comes to things, like, I swear to God, some of the craziest, most hateful things I have ever come, I have ever heard, excuse me, come from extremely high ranking Israeli rabbis. They some say some of the most bigoted things I have ever heard leave. A, a human's mouth it's crazy i mean to be fair uh judaism is the most bigoted religion oh well explain yourself well i mean it's the most racist one at least mm -hmm. so i mean there's a competition between hinduism and judaism but as bad as christianity and islam are they're not as racist as hinduism and bigoted as Hinduism and especially Judaism. I mm -hmm. mean, the chosen people, the chosen race, everybody mm -hmm. else is going to be our slaves. Like, we don't have that in other religions. Yeah, so it is. Wild. By the way, I mean, there are the definitely people. some other religions that are like very, very racist, like Falun Gong or Fa Falun Dafa. Like, they're very, yes. very racist, but do you not right. qualify them because they just aren't globally impactful in the same way yeah um also mormonism is very racist as well yes but correct me if i'm wrong does fallen the fall has a chosen race of people that is superior to others i like don't know if they're exactly people? chosen but the lighter you are the more superior you are and the darker you are in terms of your skin tone yeah you're literally seen as like less pure and like less spiritually capable and what about yeah, Mormonism says that the same thing. Okay, it's basically but, yeah, very similar. But but um, Judaism has one specific race of people that is the chosen superior race of people, and at the end of times, everybody else is going to be that specific race's um, slave. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, let me actually turn this off. I'd be curious. Um, I don't know what the end time saga for Fallen Duff is. <laughs> what happens to the master race? I don't know. <laughs> Katie saying, no, Hinduism is surely more bigoted. Hinduism is so bigoted, it created separations within itself to let people be more bigoted after already separating the infidels. Oh, yeah, actually. So, yeah, yeah, so you're right, Katie. Um, Jews are not they're bigoted against other people. They're not bigoted against themselves. Hinduism takes that prize to be able to be bigoted against everyone else, but also against yourself. So, yeah, you're right. Actually, Hinduism is number one in bigotry. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Secular Sky is saying, following Dafa believed that mixed race people have no place in heaven because, quote, their souls are split between worlds. 
Yeah, that's wow. pretty racist. <laughs> I would call that racist. Oh my god. This is Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, but um it's been very interesting to see because of, I believe it was last week we covered the story of a different chief rabbi in Israel talking about mm -hmm. how the earthquakes hitting you know Syria and Turkey are basically something that should be celebrated because you know it's the enemies of the Jews are being taken down a peg essentially so it's just wild to see you know some of these really high ranking rabbis come out with some hard hitters one after another here's a here's a tip i have for these religious people okay mm -hmm. if gay people can cause earthquakes then you should be afraid you should be <laughs> careful you should be careful about how you talk to them you should be these nice to them have, yeah these people have superpowers Holy i mean crap. can you cause can you cause earthquakes i didn't think so so maybe maybe you should submit to people who literally can shake the world they can shake the planet and you are you should give them in fact we shouldn't even give them equal rights. We should give them more rights because they'd be dangerous. <laughs> they could they could end us all. We should we should exactly. like, we, we should, should be submitting, honestly. We should be submitting to LGBT people. These people can shake the world. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is scary. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as like that's a damn good point. <laughs> <laughs> Superior rights for LGBT, not not equal rights. No more. Mogambo uh, is saying they have so much sex that it causes tremors. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it reminds me of my conversations with literal Yahtzees, right? You remember I sent you my interview with... Yes. Yeah. So I they were telling me... Interviews. So they were, they were telling me how powerful Jewish people are. And they were explaining all the ways that they control the world. And I was like, wait, explain to me again how you are the superior race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it sounds like based on what you are telling me about the Jews, it sounds to me like they are the superior ones. <laughs> and it's also... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It also sounds like you guys don't have a shot. Because like they won, <laughs> what are you even? What are you even resisting? They seem to have like godlike powers. Like, just give up already. Just go worship them. It would <laughs> take a lot of stress out of your life. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so funny. I love this comment by more thought skeptic saying, "Hey, don't piss me off, or I'll have more gay sex." And remember, I live in your neighborhood. Gods don't exactly use precision and airstrikes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's good. That's good. One. That's good. One. Oh my god! Get my best-selling book, "Why There Is No God," for free. Click on the link for it in the description.